Good evening. A positive sign for breweries as New Mexico reopens. But for most everything else, the governor says the state needs to stay the course to prevent coronavirus spread. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Breweries can open their patios to half capacity on Friday, then indoor areas the same half capacity on Monday. That does not include bars, though. Bars, people stay longer, they stay open later. Uh, I have a different dynamic uh, about how people interact and behave in bars. And again, I don't want the, the, the viewers who are hearing this, watching this, to assume that these are opinions about behavior. It's just that that's. That's why we go to a bar. The governor announcing that single change to the state health order and reopening plan today. As the state says, data shows a, quote, dramatic jump in cases over the last 10 days, mainly driven by an outbreak in Otero County and its prison facility. State health officials say they're focusing on pacing reopening and the amount of longer term human interactions that cause spread. The change in cases has dropped New Mexico's ready to reopen status amongst other United States. There is good news on the treatment front, though. The state is continuing to use more remdesivir, the antiviral drug that is under testing. Literature now suggests that even though it's an investigational drug, that it shortens the course of illness by four days from 14 to 10 days. And this has generally been used in severely ill patients, and mortality rate. Is reduced up substantially as well. Even with that data, Grace said he does not have any specific data yet about if that drug is working in those ways in New Mexico. The governor also said today she is hesitant on dropping the current 14 day quarantine after air travel, but she says that could possibly change in July. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. New Mexico's film industry has also been on hold through COVID 19. The governor says she expects to know more about possibly restarting productions also next month. The state announced 121 new positive COVID 19 tests today, including 31 in Bernalillo County and 18 in Doniana County. Cases in McKinley and San Juan counties reported a lower daily increase than they have been seeing, with 14 and 8 cases, respectively. The state total is now at more than 9,300 cases and 420 deaths. Close to 200 patients are hospitalized, about a third of them on ventilators. 3,900 are des 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 designated rather as recovered.